All righty, well, hello, sinners. How are you? On today's installment of the Letterboard of Truth, our quote of the day is time for a laugh because there's always time for a laugh there's, there's always, always time, time for, for a, a cocktail. cocktail so TikTok, am i right we love to hate it and we hate to love it that app is single-handedly responsible for all the brain rot i have experienced in the past couple years so thanks TikTok. if you've been around for a while you would know that i am no stranger to talking about TikTok. i try to switch up the topic every time but the general gist of these videos is i play bad TikTok, and then we laugh at bad TikTok. it's a pretty simple formula i hope you guys are following but i've had a change of heart recently and i've realized that i don't always want to spread negativity like yes above all things i am a hater but that doesn't always have to be the case so as opposed to making fun of tiktoks today i thought i'd show you some of my favorite tiktoks all jokes aside as much as i enjoy ripping into problematic people it takes an emotional toll on me after a while and on days like today i just want to laugh i want to chuckle chortle haha -ha, even especially due to the fact that we have been and will continue to live in unprecedented times i think we could all go for something a little more lighthearted. so for the sake of my mental health and your mental health let's watch some funny tiktoks i don't know if you're aware but i have a very unique sense of humor so we're gonna have lots of fun today okay i'll just stop Walk. Walk. <laughs> oh my god. This just makes me miss Tomodachi life very much. As much as I love my Switch, nothing will ever compare to my 3DS. And I'm pretty sure they do have a Tomodachi life version for the Switch, but it's just not the same. Give me this, Nintendo. Bring this back. <sighs> Oh man. Oh man. Everyone must try this cacio e pepe pasta sauce from Trader Joe's. Everyone must try this Zola after. <laughs> it keeps me from wanting to unalive myself. Cacio e pepe. Every morning I have to take my fluoxetine and at night I have to take my trazodone because I have depression oh. and anxiety oh. and my medication helps me get out of bed in the morning. We're moving on. Hello. I am in a completely different outfit. And I'm here to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Gym Plus Coffee. Gym Plus Coffee is an Irish athleisure and lifestyle brand focused on building a community with their mission to make life richer. They always host fun events with an amazing group of people while having quality gear to match. It's not just about the clothing, it's also about a community to be a part of. Gym Plus Coffee is also planning for a sustainable future. They're on track to have over 50% of their styles sustainably made by 2025. I received a beanie, a sports bra, a zip up hoodie, and my personal favorite, joggers. I've been wearing joggers a lot lately and the pair I got from Gym Plus Coffee is so comfortable. Gym Plus Coffee products are so versatile too. I always wear them while I'm running errands, working from home, or when I go on my daily walks. If you want high quality, breathable, and stylish athleisure clothing, Gym Plus Coffee has you covered. And if you like, click the link in my description and use my code FORCINO to get 20% off your first order with Gym Plus Coffee. Make sure you check out those joggers too you won't regret it thank you so much to gym plus coffee for supporting my channel now let's get back to your scheduled programming there's only one boss lady and it's me thank you for watching she definitely rehearsed that last part in the mirror right before she filmed this. Honestly, she killed it. And quite frankly, uh, I think this is how I'm going to end all of my videos now. There's only one true boss lady. Thank you so much for watching. This entire video is camp. That transition, camp. No music, camp. The mouth noises, 
camp. Violet Tchotchke got Mick. You pulled it off yet again. There's another Violet Tchotchke video I have saved. Hold on. Is it recording? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she did that on purpose. The fact that she didn't cut out the very beginning. Honestly, we love a raw and unfiltered queen. Violet Tchotchke joining TikTok is the best thing that's ever happened to me. This dude's a king, if I'm gonna be honest. The fact that this has 28.7 million likes and over 400,000 comments, I mean, your fave could never. We don't need Little Huddy. We don't need Bryce Hall. We don't need the Demelio sisters. I want him to be in the hype house. Where's his documentary, Netflix? You ain't stop God. You'll see what he's done. 9-11. You ain't God. You ain't God. Just the fact that she oh so casually slipped that part in there. Everything that I've learned about the Westboro Baptist Church has been against my will. But really, has anyone heard from the Westboro Baptist Church in a while? Because honestly, I think they're in their flop era. Really, what are they up to? Are they still going on tour? Are they still protesting outside of funerals and on the sides of the street? I need to know. Like, what is the 411 on the WBC? That's Westboro Baptist Church. I mean, if you're a real fan, you would know that. But it's yeah. just good when it's put out together. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Onions, garlic. Onions, garlic, celery. Dicken balls. 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 You know when you dicken balls? That moment when you dicken balls? Will you be the will you be the dick to my balls? Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Dicken balls was gonna be the quote of the day for the letterboard of truth. But you can't curse in the first 30 seconds of your video because Susan will then get your AdSense revenue. And God forbid Susan ever takes any of my YouTube money. My girl Carolyn here is always killing it. I mean, she is photogenic beyond belief. Those editing skills, the music, I mean, ugh, what more can we ask from Carolyn? I think we should all strive to be like Carolyn when we grow up. Thank you, Carolyn, we needed this today. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill which is why one day I'm gonna open up a hospital. If you need a little bit of context, um, the pictures on the screen represent five of the Myers-Briggs personality types, and mine happens to be the one in the right corner over here because I'm an INFPT, I believe, which basically confirms that I am an empath. I feel things beyond belief. I'm just, I just can't, I can't help that I'm a really good person, guys. Shane Dawson, watch out, because you're not the only freaking empath on YouTube. I feel like the main thing we've learned so far is that I am mentally ill. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now get ready for... <laughs> So true, King. You know, I didn't want to get political today. I kind of wanted to keep this video lighthearted, fun, easy, but I think we really need to take what he said to heart because he is saying what we've all been thinking for a while, and he's really brave for that. If I asked a girl for chapstick, she just pulled me in to kiss me. I would simply just pass away, bro. <laughs> I would simply just pass away, bro. I would simply just pass away, bro. I don't think this dude is being serious, though. I'm pretty sure this is a parody of a different video where the guy in that one was actually being serious. Straight men are a blessing to this earth. <laughs> you will never hear me say that again. Oh my god, not her being goofy. Not her being silly and goofy. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say that this is going to be me in 20 years. 
Fuck it, this is me now. And her caption is just as iconic too. Hashtag save, max. Hashtag shopping for Super Bowl Sunday. Hashtag just me being silly. Hashtag comedy, hashtag crazy. Hashtag LMAO. I'm confused about the hashtag save max though. Like, who is Max and why are we saving them? Who am I from SpongeBob SquarePants? Why am I Plankton 4? <laughs> if she's Plankton 4, can I be Plankton 5? And what happened to Plankton 1, 2, and 3? Someone better send this to BuzzFeed Unsolved. We got a number two coming up, my... Yeah, my partner, it's about to get brown. Get brown one poop on the floor right now. Just shot a fucking candy out. I... I... Okay. I really don't know why I have that saved on my favorites tab, but, um... Yeah, um... Art... Art is subjective. And, you know, you can't... Um... Art. Am I right? I don't have goals. I don't have ambition. I only want to be attractive. I only want to look good. I just want to be sexy. Fuck everything else. Nothing else matters. I just want to be pretty. I don't care. I don't care about shit. I she is onto something. She sounds like me doing my manifestations every morning. I don't want to have goals anymore. I don't want to aspire to be something. I don't want to contribute to society. I just want to sit around and look hot. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Fuck it. She's got the right idea. This video is for Seth Rogen and Seth Rogen only! Hi, Seth. I am a stable woman from a small village. I mean, no disrespect. I know you are married. I just want to say that if you and your wife are hiring a maid, a dog of some kind, I am employable. <laughs> I brought you this flower. <sighs> I have an incredible temperament. People tend to really like me. They, I have lots of friends. Oh, this is like really weird. No, mom, you don't get it. He's gonna really like this. This video is by one of my besties, Anuheya. This is probably one of my favorite TikToks of theirs. I find myself quoting it all the friggin' time. I just love how much Anuheya commits to a character and they pull it off so well. And I'm so lucky to call them one of my best friends. So bestie Anu, if you're watching, I love Aww. you. Yeah, I fucking hate when I'm just going about my day and I start thinking about premarital sex. Who? 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 Who in their right mind would ever participate in premarital sex? Someone out there right now is having premarital sex. Like, how fucked up is that? What would you do if when you okay, so he said yes would go? Yeah, what? Um, what would you do if when you're okay, so he said yes um, would go? I don't know what you mean there, babes. But I'm, I'm sorry, I... God bless him. <laughs> Stop laughing because this is really crazy. <laughs> Abby Lee Miller is presetting. I have to commend whoever put this together because they edited the clips together so perfectly. But have any of you considered what would you do if when you okay said he yes would go? Much to think about. <laughs> Listen, as a Cats the Musical stan, this, this spoke to me in more ways than one. I can't believe I'm admitting this live on the internet on YouTube.com, but Cats the Musical is my favorite show. We all have a cross that we bear, and this one is mine. Listen, if you don't love me at my Grizabella, then you don't deserve me at my Mr. Mistopheles, okay? The reason I get so much, like, top tier pussy is because of how I've set my life up, you know? And like the situations that I put myself in. And when you're- Look at him posing with that Louis Vuitton wallet. Like, isn't he just so adorable? I hope he brought a bucket for that leak though, cause he just has 
so much drip. You can't sit here and tell me that Hard Rock Nick doesn't get mad pretty. I mean, look at him with the snap back, the freshly trimmed beard with the little just for men on top, the necklaces, the phone case, the gold bracelet, the gold shoes, and those jorts. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Um, okay, this is another one of those TikToks that I don't really have an explanation as to why I put it under my favorites tab, but I, I just feel a spiritual connection to this. Maybe it's just because I can relate because this is how I sound after a cold brew or two. I'm just a gassy girl living in a gassy world. Well, that was fun. Didn't we have such a good time? I definitely had a good time and I absolutely needed a laugh or two today. So if you'd like to see a part two of me watching my favorite TikToks, let me know. Or if you want me to react to some of your favorite TikToks in a future video, let me know in the comments. And in general, if you'd like to see a particular video from me, I have a Google form linked in the description where you can submit your video ideas. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give me a very, very, very tiny thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys very much and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!